Class Tools uh, launched at ISTE, what it's going to enable you to do and your teachers to do is give you and your teachers a bit more control of how Chromebooks are being used um, in the classroom. So um, previously, you know, this was possible with third party software, but what's really nice now is Google are building this functionality into the Education Plus license and also into the Teaching and Learning Upgrade license. So for this functionality, your users do need uh, one of those two licenses assigned. The other caveat here is you do need to be on Chromebooks. It's a Chromebook only feature, which means the teacher and the students both need to be on school managed Chromebooks, which are enrolled to your domain. Okay, let me just switch back to my uh, camera view now. And I'll take you through what I've got set up here. So on my desk, I've got two Chromebooks. I've got one here, which you can see signed in as a teacher who's got an Education Plus license assigned and he's currently looking at Google Classroom. And on my other Chromebook here, I'm signed in as a student, again, with an Education Plus license. Both of these Chromebooks are managed on my domain and um, yeah, with Chrome Education Upgrade licenses. Um, Dan, yeah, I've not heard about this coming to Windows devices yet, but I've got to think it can't be too difficult for Google to do that, so I hope so uh, in the future, but right now it is just on Chromebooks uh, and managed Chromebooks, which have got to be on version 137, so you do need to be running a, a recent version of Chrome OS to get access to this. Okay, so I've got my teacher Chromebook here now on screen. I can access class tools just by going down into my uh, app tray and selecting class tools and it opens up then on the uh, right hand side here. So to start a new session and start managing and um, sharing resources with students in my class, all I need to do at first is just select which students I want to add. And Google makes this really easy if you're using Google Classroom. All I need to do here is select add students, then select a class, and then I can just select which students from that class I want to um, manage and share resources with. So let's add all five of these students. Okay, the next step is then what resources and content do I want to share with my students? So from here, I can just select add resources. And the first option I get is classroom assignments. So I've already got a, an assignment I made earlier, which is a quiz about solar systems. So let's share this with my students. But I also want to share them some other resources which they can look at um, before they complete this quiz. So in this case, let's go to open tabs. I can actually pull in some of the tabs that I've got open. So let's add these two as well. And what's nice about these resources we're adding in here is next to each of these, I've got some options for navigation settings. So as I've added um, this Wikipedia article, the default here is to um, make any link on that page also available, or I could make it more locked down and actually just say, I only want them to use this page only, but not be able to browse away and look at other links related from there. So it's really nice that a teacher has control to uh, change that. Okay, we can also add in links. So if I've got uh, another link I want to add in here, I could just type it in and simply add that into this interface as well. Okay, if we go back now, and one last option before we start this session, I also have the ability to turn on captions, in which case the teacher Chromebook microphone will capture everything I say and transcribe it for students. And I can also give students then the option of displaying these captions on their screen as well, and also translating these captions live in real time too. So really useful if you've got students in your class where uh, English isn't their first language, if they could live translate this uh, in the lesson, which I think is a really cool feature. Okay, so I have selected my students, I've selected some resources. Now let's hit next. I can now decide how long I want my session to last for. So I can go up to a maximum of two hours, or I could set it to be uh, a lot less, let's say up to 30 minutes. I can allow our class tools to be minimized. And let's hit the start session. Okay, so now let me switch back to my Chromebook screen on my student side. So class tools is now launched. And because I have selected 
let me just show you this lock padlock icon here class tools only it means as a student I can't navigate away from this page. I can't use the screen squ switcher key. I can't access the Chromebook shelf. All I can do is see class tools. So the home page on class tools shows me the tabs and resources which have been shared. From here, I can also turn on the translations for me as well. So if I come back into my uh, teacher screen now and go back into captions and translations, I could turn this on now for students. And then if I go back to my student screen, I can now turn this on and off and control this as an individual student. And if I've got it on as a student, I can also turn on translations as well. So uh, I've turned on uh, translations for English to Czech, for instance. Also along the top here, I can see my Google Classroom assignment I need to complete. So I've got my Google form here, which I need to uh, complete. But to help me complete that alongside that, I do also have access to a couple of resources which this teacher has shared with me as well. So I've got the Wikipedia page here, which is just loading. And I've also got my 3D view of the solar system as well, which uh, is working nicely too. Now, as a teacher, if I wanted to enable students a bit more freedom now that they've completed the quiz, I can just come back into my class tool screen and click on this padlock icon. And now if I jump back to my student view, I've now got the shelf returned. I can open up my own copy of Chrome. I can uh, search for different apps. So I've now got full control of my Chromebook again, but just as easily, if I go back to my teacher screen, I can then actually say, let's just go back into class tools, back into our focus mode. And in a moment, as you can see, it says down here, you can only use class tools now. Now I'm back into this interface. Or if I wanted to, I needed everyone's attention and wanted no Chromebook access, I can simply press pause devices. And then instantly all devices in the classroom are locked and everyone's eyes are on me again. So let's unpause that now. Um, one other feature I just wanted to highlight under students, we also have the option here of remotely viewing student screen as a teacher. So if I select this now, as you can see, I've only got one student online at the moment, so it does show me who isn't online already. Let's press view screen. And it launches a new window. And if we give it a moment, it should hopefully come up with my student Chromebook screen. The student does get a notification uh, about this. So as you can see down here on the bottom right hand side, it does show that my teacher is currently viewing my screen. So no spying going on here. Uh, and then here we go, I've got my screen now remote viewed from my teacher device. Okay, so I think that's most of the options I wanted to cover here. Actually, one other option just to highlight for schools who aren't using Google Classroom, you can still use class tools just by sharing this code with your students and having students join a session manually as well. So that is another option you can use if you're not using Google Classroom. And of course, once you're finished with that session as a teacher, you can just simply press end session. And then if I switch back to my student Chromebook, that session is now ended. But it does leave class tools still available here for me to use those resources my teacher has shared with me. So I really like this. I think it's going to be useful in a classroom, even delivering training you know, using Google to teachers. I think this would be a nice thing to, to show and just quickly share resources out. Um, that's really cool. So let me now switch my screen again. This time, I just want to show you how I set all this up. Uh, in the admin console. So let me share a different tab now and we'll walk through the admin console configuration, which is actually really, really easy to do. So I'm in my admin domain now. I, I'm going to go into devices, Chrome, and settings. And then from here, all I need to do is go into user and browser settings. And then let's search for class tools. Okay, let's try that again. Class tools and hit search. And now, as you can see on my left-hand side, I've got my staff OU selected currently. So to enable start staff to access class tools, all I need to do is go into here and change this into teacher mode for my teachers and staff. I can allow class tools either only on school managed networks, managed via the admin console, or allow on any network. Now, the nice thing about this option means that if it's only on school managed networks, it means it's not going to operate at home. 
So that means you're not going to get a situation then where students might be working at home, um, they may be there, they're not at school that day, and some other students are, are not going to get pulled into that session at school and a teacher is not going to be able to view a device which isn't on campus. So I think that's a really important option to have enabled. You can also control access to live captions and translations, and also whether um, teachers can view students' screens or not can be controlled by admin as well. And you can also allow classroom integration. So that's what I was using with class tools to automatically add my students and resources from Google Classroom. OK, so let's save this for teachers and staff. And then the other thing we need to do is just enable this for students. So to do this, if we go to students OU on the left hand side and then put it into student mode. And we've only got one option here. And again, this is just about allowed networks. So I only want to allow us on managed school networks. And let's press save. And that's all you need to do to set it up. Um, just a reminder, the other requirements are, firstly, you need an Education Plus license or teaching and learning upgrade. You need to have Chromebooks enrolled onto your school, Google domain and managed. And the Chromebooks need to be running at least version 137. So if you meet all those requirements, you can actually start using class tools now. It is already ro rolling out to domains, so you should see it in your admin console already, which is great. 